Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing this fine evening? Thank you for being here. We got Lisa, Joel, Eminem, Cup Series, T, and T, Squid, Voting Globe here, Nexus Combat. So far, how is everyone going? Thanks for joining. It is Cody here, as you can see by the title of today's stream. I'm going to be attempting to recreate Neil Bonnet's 1993 Talladega flip. I, uh, actually, let's go check. I wanted to give a shout out to whoever left a comment, or left the comment on one of my more recent videos suggesting this, uh, wreck to try to reenact and I got a few thumbs up so I decided to do, do that one since it's been on my to-do list for a while where is it yeah here we go slander man right here streamception Thank you, Slenderman, for this suggestion. I got a few thumbs up. And thank you, everyone, for watching this uh, most recent video I did. Hey, look, we're live. If you haven't seen uh, this one yet, go check it out. Uh, itchy eye. I apologize, by the way, for my bedhead. I just woke up not too long ago. For those of you that know my third shift schedule. Where are we? Here we go. Alright, back to the game. No, what am I doing? I need to show you guys the flip. The wreck that happened first. Alright, here we go. Exit out of here and go back here. Alright, so for those of you that haven't seen the wreck that we're talking about, here it is the video. Yellow is back on the track. We got a major crash through the tri oval. Car on fire coming to the line right here in front of us. It's Ted Musgrave's car. I apologize if I miss anyone. You guys are coming in here quickly. Thank you so much for the. Uh, being here for the stream, hit a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I'm assuming most of you have since you're joining right away. Thank you so much for your support. He's told his crew that he is okay. You're in Neil Bonnet's car. And be sure, uh, to make it easier for me to see, uh, you guys can post your suggestions in the chat, but it also helps once the uh, stream's done processing and it's posted. It really helps if you comment your suggestions as well, because then other people can thumbs up. Then I can see which uh, who kind of wants uh, which Rex more. Because then you guys can kind of know what Rex you want done you if, you, uh, if some people post their suggestions. Some so you guys can post car. in the chat right There's here, but uh, it really... Musgrave. It's way easier for me to see if you guys comment afterwards once the stream has been processing. Right the fuel area. Lap 131. Bonnet's car lies in the All grass right, just the at the bottom of the track. Yeah, here as it you is. Exit pit road. If you look closely, I never really noticed this as a kid, but this was almost like an Austin Dillon type crash. Kind of he bounces and then he wow, his car gets stuck in the down. fence basically with his left side and he's and comes back home, the right there. He the, almost uh, just comes to a stop. Yeah, he's way back there while the other car wall, comes flying way back here. So he I believe that's the only replay aside from the onboard. See, I'm kind of looking to do a blow over. I might have to get a little down into the apron more just because of the physics of this game with the Cup 90 mod, but yeah, I basically have to do a blow-over, kind of tumble once or twice into the catch fence and land back on my wheels, and preferably do it around Ted Musgrave, but it's not going to be a necessity. Alright, where's the onboard the, uh, I apologize for my nasally voice, I've been getting sick, I've been up against the wall. Flames coming from coughing my lungs up the last couple of days. From inside of Bonnet's car. Jesus, that noise still gets me. Alright, so that was the wreck for those of you that haven't seen it. 
that being shown, let's go back to the race, or the game I should say, load up the car I'm going to be using, Neil Bonnet's number 31, 1993, Mom and Pops, Good Wrench, is that a Chevy, yep. Alright, let's go in, and I actually do have Talladega 93, I did my, you when I'm uh, trying to do a blowover in this game on command. I did my usual two, uh... Actually, I think I only did a uh, one... No, I did two mods to this one. I lowered the track base temperature down to about... Uh, negative 65 degrees. And I... Why did I turn yellow flags off? I know I'm gonna I'm just gonna be doing this in practice or happy hour, but I still want yellow flags on. And I also upped the grip just a tad to uh, compensate for the lowered traction from a, a result of lowering the track temperature. Lucas, negative Alex, just to keep racing, Douglas X Skull X ten. Alright, thank you guys all for joining. Just once again I apologize if I missed anyone. You guys are coming in really fast. Faster than I can read all your comments. Alright, why? I want adaptive speed control on, but I want a session where the weather is realistic but it's also cloudy. Why is it not cloudy for any of these? You know what, screw it, I'll just do it sunny. I'll just do it sunny for uh, these attempts and then you can make it cloudy in the replay by changing the settings later. So we'll just do that. Alright, let's get in. Let's get a, let's go on board for the warm, warm up lap Keep it and then we'll 55. go third person. God damn it. Then we'll go third person once we're trying to do the reenactment. Derek Cope spawned in front of me. Keep it under in second. That's right, I'm not an eye racing, I can speed on pit road. Watch that speed now. Keep it on and they won't yell at me. Although I think it's a little easier to get airborne somehow for some reason when it's cloudy. The mustache keeps itching. Why did I do this? I meant to. I meant to accelerate the session a little bit. Well, I'll try spinning out on my own, getting airborne on my own, but I don't think that'll work. I'm not going quite fast enough, I don't think. Yeah, I'll accelerate the session after this so there's cars all over the track. Yeah, I can't even get loose on my own. There we go. Yeah, as you can tell, I treat the track setting just a bit to try to do this reenactment. I love the- I've always loved the damage of the Cup 90 mod. Alright, accelerate the session. There we go. Now there will be cars around to try to spin off of and get me airborne. There we go. Hey, I see smoke Keep from the wreck 55. already. Keep it under 3500 in second. Watch that speed now. Keep it on Alright, now let's go, uh, third person. Shoot, shoot. Yep, I saw that coming. Trying to go around that one car. Coming out of pit road. But then this isn't I racing, I would have just pissed someone off really badly. this without getting wrecked. Yes, go to the inside of me. There. That sounded wrong. Alright, I need to... Well, speaking of Ted Musgrave, he's in this pack. Oh wait, no, he's... that one car. Never mind. 
Alright, I'm waiting for this uh, pack for three seconds back. Shoot, I need to get going. We're catching up fast. There we go, I should be right up to speed right when they're catching me at the tri -oval. Perfect. Shoot, that's a few too many cars. Screw it, I'm gonna try just spinning off one of these guys anyway. Oh, nope, nope. Could be the track I use for trying to recreate Mark Martin's thing. Actually, let me see. Mark Martin's wreck, you guys know which one I'm talking about, where he flew into the infield. Alright, maybe I need uh, two warm up. Two warm up laps to uh, get up to full drafting speed. I'm gonna see what this looks like right here. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Don't merge yet. Right, so if I hit right there. Oh yeah, he can go through Mark Martin and hit that fence right there. So I could Limit try to do that wreck. I have not tried to do Mark Martin's infield wreck yet. I could do that though for a future stream. I'll definitely put that in the the queue list. That's incredible. Got 24 people here. Thank you guys for joining. I'm trying to do Neil Bonnet's 1993 flippy had a tail Whoa! I just hit the apron and got loose. Once again, the steering feels really weird when you mess with the track settings. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh, he almost started to get airborne. And he keeps it going. Does anyone have any other suggestions how to get airborne easier, or, or do I just need to try more? seconds behind me. I will blend in with them. Hurry up, guys. Bill Elliott, his airborne wreck at Talladega in the backstretch. It's another one I've been wanting to do. That'd be a fairly easy one. It'd be almost too easy. Whoa. Let's try this right now. Come on, come on. Oh. I'm getting there. That was a step in the right direction. 2012 Jeff Gordon flip. That's another popular suggestion I've gotten, but that one would be hard as hell, so I'm hesitant. Alright, that was a step in the right direction. Oh, this is a cool angle. Restart the session. Kyle Bush 2016 Talladega flip. Did I miss that? Keep it under 55. Keep it under 3500. Talking about his 2015 Daytona one. Or 2014. 
Yeah, I don't think he's flipped any time within the last few years. And I'm gonna wait for that pack of cars that's eight seconds behind. Five seconds. Alright, here we go. Go, 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 go. As the guy from Dirt to Daytona would say. Which reminds me, I might start doing some a couple streams of uh, Dirt to Daytona. Just a career playthrough. I've been wanting to replay that game. Because I love it. I played it a bunch as a kid. And I wanted to stream it. It probably wouldn't be more than... Actually, it probably would be a decent amount of streams, but... I'd still do plenty of these. Wouldn't do any less of these. Alright, come on. Start flipping. Alright. What am I doing wrong? The start of it looked good, I just need to actually go over and start and tumble once or twice. Ugh. My throat just got really itchy. Another symptom of being sick. Or getting sick. Tis the season. Try to blow over in the middle of the track. That's right, it was more towards the middle of the infield. Or the middle of the trioval. Which was the other car involved? Oh yeah, Ted Musgrave. That was the one that was on fire up along the outside wall. I'll try to keep an eye out for him. If I see an opportunity to spin directly off him, I'll try to do so. Alright, I'm also hoping another car kind of like helps me go over. Like kind of like pushes me while I'm getting airborne. So I kind of like land on top of it like he did in the race. Oh, I waited too long that time. Waited too long that time. Hey, we got a flip though. We got a flip though. But uh, yeah, I, w I was way too far down the trioval. Actually, was I? I don't know, let's see in comparison to the replay. Yeah, in the replay he was... I don't know, let's see, this is the same year, so let's see in comparison to the Talladega stripe up there where he was. I'm just checking it really quick on my own. Alright, yeah, he was actually a little past it. Wow, his car got upside down. Yeah, it was coming out of the trioval. So it was like maybe... Just like a second before where I spun right there would be a good spot to spin. Yeah, maybe just slightly after, or right at the Talladega thing up at the wall would be a good spot to spin out. It looks like, according to the replay. Limit so I'll try for that. Keep it under 3500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in seconds. Oh, I'm not gonna worry with these guys. Instead, I might wreck them all. Which I just might do. Oh, nope. We're good. Alright, Bobby Labonte. Slow down and let these other cars catch up to us. There we go. I'm just staying in third because it seems like I go faster in third than switching to fourth and going at a low RPM. Alright, so wait a little towards the middle of the trioval to spin. No. Alright, so turn it 
turned on right now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was close. That was close. If I would just flipped over a little bit more and actually hit the catch fence, that was a step in the right direction. That was a step in the right direction. Oh, who? Oh, Jeff. I thought this was Ted Musgrave. For some reason. That would have been perfect if a he hit me and sent me into the fence. That would have been a wrap. That would have been possibly the shortest reenactment session yet. But we're getting close. Motivation to keep trying. Ah, so my back killing the shit out of me isn't motivation. Keep it under 35. Keep it under 35. 15 seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on right, Nope, I'm not gonna catch up with these guys. Oh. Sorry, Terry. That was cool. It's kind of dancing on my wheels. That's a risk you take when you spawn in happy hour and try to exit the pits full speed. Kind of doing a little wheel dance there. No, don't cancel. And I'm definitely not going to catch up with these guys. Right there. Let's see who's behind them. I'll slow down so I don't hit them this time. And I have to wait 11 seconds. 9. 8. Here we go. Looks like I'm gonna merge in perfectly with these guys the second I'm half back. Alright, let's hope I can spin off a car and kinda have another one kind of almost punt me through the air into the catch fence. Oops, oops. Nope. That was close. That was very close. But nope, that wasn't... He flipped one too many times. And he went too far into the infield. I did it a little too early. But we're getting close. I kind of, right there, it would have been good if I came around a bit more and kind of slapped the catch fence with my left side while I was still on my side. Who do you think will be the champion? Uh, I honestly do not know. If you guys list, like, aren't there six people left? If you guys list all the people left, I will give you my guess, or slash who I want to win. Because I kind of knew the final 12, but I know there's been a couple of elimination rounds, and I honestly have not been following the last couple weeks, because I've been busy. Aside from watching the Talladega race itself, I've had too much stuff going on in my life to... Unfortunately, the start of football season, I can't really pay attention to anything else other than work, sleep, and football. And restrictor plate races. No. There we go. Here we go. We got a good speed going. 
up with all those wrecked cars on the back stretch? Oh. Alright, Davey. You ready? Shoot. I messed up that opportunity. I'll have to wait another lap. Let's go on board for a lap around Talladega in 1993 with Neil Bonnet. Giving a bump to Wally Dallenbach. Still have enough speed after checking up to try to get airborne here. Go. Come on, come on. Oh, darn it. Close. And we're going to get drilled. No, I'm not, but Davy Ellison did by Irvin. Oh, yeah, one. That's right. There's two Irvins right here. That's not Davy Ellison. Scroll back up because I saw. All right, Chase. Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Carl Edwards, Matt Kenseth, Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick. Hmm. Well, I'm from Wisconsin, so you guys know my pick right there. Who do I think is going to win? I'm going to be conservative and say I think either Johnson, Logano, or Kyle Busch will win it, but I really want Matt Kenseth to. I would love it if Matt Kenseth won a championship. And let's hope Joey Logano doesn't uh, take out his or ruin his chances at Kansas or at uh Kansas, at Kansas this time. All right, more comments. I have to go back down. Yeah, I do not like Johnson, but he's like the Patriots of the of NASCAR. Always trying to find the gray area of the rules. Always trying to do little shifty things, and hey, it's worked. They're yet to get completely busted caught for doing it, and they have six championships as a result. I don't like it, but you have to almost tip your hat towards it. And let's face it, you guys don't think they did little shady things outside of the rules back in the 70s, 80s, the golden era of NASCAR? No, they... They altered the cars plenty, but the uh, rules weren't as strict, and the inspections weren't nearly as thorough and in-depth as they are nowadays, so they just never got caught. They still did plenty of shifty shit back then. No, I waited too long. Right, let's see if I can keep up with this pack and try for the next lap. You dare cope. Let me get in front of you. There we go. But yeah, I really would love Matt Kenseth to win one. Kyle Busch is Mr. Clutch. I mean, hell, he was out half a season and still won the championship. And I really like him. Ever since he had that bad accident, he, his attitude has changed. And I'm yet to see an interview or to hear him talking or he's yet to piss me off by saying something stupid or annoying. Oh, that would have been close if you didn't stay upside down. Ow. Got him a some kind of bug bite.
And I'm like everyone else, I'm a true NASCAR fan. I hate the fucking chase. Fuck the chase, because then people can just manipulate it. Clint Boyer can spin out to help a teammate get in, or... Uh, Joey Logano can wreck Kenseth at, or at Kansas to take him out of the chase, or... Matt Kenseth can wreck Logano at Martinsville to take him out of the chase. It's just, I still say, whoever has the most points at the end of 36 races, there's your champion. NASCAR needs to learn just because other sports have playoffs, they don't need, necessarily need playoffs. They don't need to fit in with other sports. Because racing is completely separate. Let's take a look at this one, though. Now, we're getting closer. I need to actually kind of flip over a car. I need to be in a smaller pack. Or a bigger than that, but a small pack. And kind of let a car almost... Yeah, aid me in going airborne. Keep it under 3, in fact, That's why that was weird. Let's turn too far. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3, in oh, sorry guys. Oh, I didn't hit them. God, I feel bad. I kind of ruined someone's run at an IndyCar race in uh, I racing yesterday. Oh, what happened? Someone got into me, I got loose, I went into the outside wall going on the back stretch at Charlotte. And, uh, my right front tire was fucked, so I was basically out of the race. I was waiting to hit the escape button to respawn, and right before I did, some guy flying on the back stretch, so I was like in third place, just nailed me. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Shoot, shoot. Oh, darn it. That was a cool ass wreck, but that wasn't a good reenactment because I waited too long to spin because I took the trioval too wide. That was a cool ass wreck, though. Definitely got into the catch fence there. His back end grabbed. <laughs> That sounded funny. Yeah, right there. Keep doing eye racing. All right, I will do that. Well, I have three months. I signed up for three months for twenty bucks. So, and I'm still, I'm still just doing all the free stuff. I'm not buying any extra shit because that's all really expensive, and I'm not taking it that seriously, at least yet. How's it going, everyone? The fail. Do, 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 do. Voting Globe, NASTAR GameStop, Brian Martin, just keep racing. Once again, I'm sorry if I missed anyone, but you guys are awesome. You're commenting so fast, I can't even keep up with it all. Plus, I'm trying to concentrate. Alright, so I need to not take the trioval so wide because I was trying my hardest to. Whoa. Don't hit the. F Ernie Irvin. The double Ernie Irvin. Oh, sorry, buddy. Yep, I saw that coming. Sterling. Keep it under fifty-five. Keep it under thirty-five. Once again, that's a risk you take. You're flying out of the pits full speed in half the hour. That's the risk you take with happy hour. There we go. Oh. God, it's hard to drive with the track settings adjusted. Well, it's hard to drive in general. I need to stop making excuses for being a s shitty racer. took the turn too wide again. Come on. Nope. Getting close. 
I'm gonna get T-bone, aren't I? Nope. How's it going, everyone? Thank you for joining the stream. Oh, why is my back hurt right now? Oh, there we go. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, that was already right up against the microphone. You should have heard that. Limit 55. Keep it under 3,500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3,500 in seconds. Whoa. That was squirrely right there. Okay, you're clear. All right, perfect. We got some cars two and a half seconds back. Seeing some regulars back. Thank you guys for joining. Yeah, I need to not take the trial wool so wide, so I can't come down quick enough to get spun off the nose of whoever I'm trying to spin off of. Alright, so right. Darn it. I guess I'll wait a lap. I'll wait a lap to purposefully get spun out. This actually helps me with driving a lot. Third person kind of throws me off with how much I've been getting used to first person with the wheel now. or John Nemechek, whoever that is, is probably like, fuck! Huge pack of cards coming up on him super quick. Except he doesn't know we're all going to be spun out by the time we get to him. Come on! Come on! Come on! Ah, oh, darn it. Close. Close. But that's kind of what I was going for. Yeah, I always wondered why the roof cam was weird in this mod. I kind of like it in a way, but yeah, it's kind of weird. That's kind of what I was going for like that. Except I wanted to tumble over once or twice and kind of bounce off the catch fence with one of the sides of my car. But we're getting there. I don't really need to get spun any, or maybe I'll try to get. Hmm. Let's see. I'm yet to program all the gears, but I can do that right now. I'll try direct selection. What do I have for reverse? Enter. Neutral. Enter. Left. Down. Alright, I'll try that. I'll try going to first and try spinning myself out on purpose. Right when I'm at the nose of a car, so I kind of... Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's all about trial and error. It's gonna be weird. I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm used to the paddle shifters now. It's gonna be weird shifting with this button and the clutch. This is what cars are gonna be like in the future. With manual transmissions, you just hit the clutch and then push a button and it'll shift for you. Perfect. Morgan Shepard had a cool car. This time I like that red and white Sitco paint scheme. There's tons of cool paint schemes in the 80s and 90s. 
Supposedly there's been awesome paint schemes all era. Why am I just singling out one specific thing? Whoa. God damn it. That's totally my bad. Alright, let's try this. Oh, darn it. It was a hard crash, but that didn't work out so well. Eh, I don't like that. I'm just gonna try spinning off the nose of a car like normal. That was weird trying to shift with the buttons. I don't like that. I was getting better results doing it the way I was doing it. I like the paddle shifters. 42 people watching. Stupid little pop up came up. I was just getting rid of that on my laptop. Thank you everyone for watching the stream. We are trying to do Neil Bonnet's 1993 Talladega flip. Where he got into the catch fence. Just waiting for these cars behind me to catch up so I have some people to draft with and spin off of. Another Jeff Gordon flip. I might have to try that one. Though you guys still need to help me and how I get those tickers for those weird shaped for like 2012 they had like a really weird shaped ticker as opposed to just like a flat line across the top separating the ticker from the video or like the rectangle they had last year alright waiting for these cars behind us to catch up I'm gonna do it the next lap around. I need to get to the inside line somehow. Oops, sorry. That was my bad. Obviously. God damn it. Seconds back. Okay, you're clear of Eight, light. seven, six, five. I really need to concentrate on driving and not looking up at the comments. We have two Jeff Bodines apparently too. Jesus Christ. Talk about a hard crash. Let's see a replay of that. Talk about a hard crash for Morgan Shepard, too. Did you guys see that? Boom. Did Rusty Wallace flip over again? Rusty. Let's see. Uh, yep. He did. Tumbling down the front stretch. Let's see that shot Morgan Shepard took, too, right there. Alright, restart the session. Talk about a brutal crash for everyone. Alright, 
seven seconds back. Six seconds back, there's a pack of cars coming up. There's Kyle Petty, Jeff Bodine, Mark Martin, Jeff Purvis. And Mr. Trickle himself. good feeling about this one. And the last time I said it, I got Michael McDowell's like 95% perfect. Oh, we already have a wreck entering the trial here. Look at that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh. That was an airborne crash for Jeff Bodine, too. Oh, this is gonna be chaos. We got chaos. Chaos out of the trial bowl. More cars. Oh my god. You all right? Davy Ellison or Irvy Irvin's over and over. You blew the engine. Jesus Christ, I won't let this keep going on. See how big this gets. All right, Looks they're like done now. Up on the back end. Uh, I think Daryl Waltrip is dead from what I can see in the replay so far. Actually, no, never mind. Actually, maybe. I thought he hit the inside wall so hard that's what caused him to roll over. Alright, so let's see what all happened. So first there was a wreck coming into the trial bowl before I even got there. Let's follow all this chaos. Oops. That wasn't for me last time, was it? No, it wasn't. Look at that. An AI flip. That's a rare thing, when you don't really have the drafting or bump drafting or spacing mod or modded out too much. Can't even figure out what I'm trying to say right now. Then that happened, and then that happened, and then that happened, and then when do I find- that's when I finally come in. And then this happens. And then... All these guys come in. And this happens. Where's the fake Davy Allison? Here he is. I need to save all of this. This is too good not to save. Just how long this went on for and I didn't even cause most of it. I was behind Jeff Gordon. It was right here. Oops. Alright, cut. Ken Schrader upside down for the millionth time. So then all that happens. Longest crash ever. You can make a crash comp just from that and that whole <laughs> series of events alone. Ted Musgrave, I believe, was the other car involved in this one that was on fire. I already got three cars a half second behind me. These guys will do to try to spin myself. 
We don't want too much traffic. Sound there's too big of a wreck. Shoot. Shoot. Didn't mean to do that. Pull the Jimmy Spencer there. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 3500 in Restart the session just so there's not a bunch of tire marks. Thank you one and all for joining the stream tonight. I am trying to do Neil Bonnet's 1993 flippy head at Talladega. If you are enjoying the stream so far, please go ahead and hit that like button if you feel like it. As I continue to fail at trying to reenact this. Right, we got some cars three and a half seconds back. Two seconds, come on. Hurry up, guys. There we go. Let's go. Shoot. Might wait till the next lap to do that so I can get ahead of a few of these guys. I'm gonna wait for the next lap. Also, I can build up some speed. Better chance of getting airborne, obviously. Get out of the way. And that's how you do it. The old bump and run. Alright, I have good speed now. As long as I don't screw up the turns, I have a good feeling about this one. Or hit the apron to ru ruin my momentum. Or take it too wide like that and overcorrect. Come on, come on, come on. Up. Oh. Ah. Does that count? Probably the closest I've had yet, but definitely wasn't perfect. Whoa. Definitely the closest I've have ye had yet. I stayed upside down just a little too long, though, when I hit the fence. Still gonna save that one. Oh, God, my back is killing me. Hard hit for the number 12 there. And yeah, I, I should have landed back there because I didn't really get hooked into the catch fence at all. Neil Bonnet, 93, flip, attempt, one. You all right? You all right? Keep it under 3,500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it only 3,500 Shoot, that's right. I wanted to restart the session, obviously. Keep it under 3500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it only 3500 in seconds. Where's all the cars? Okay, They're eight seconds away. back. There they are. Don't work yet. quicker than I thought they would. Alright, Dale Earnhardt definitely wasn't involved in that wreck, but if he is, so be it. Alright, 
looks like it's gonna be Dale trying to spin out Neil. Nope. Just goes for a harmless little slide. Don't work yet. He couldn't do that to a friend. Alright, now I need to restart the session to get rid of that smoke, though. By the way, I just want to check something real quick. Alright, awesome. Zero dropped frames so far. Just doing a little test, just trying to up the video quality, but I just did a little higher bit rate than usual. And it seems to be working. Video quality is nice and crisp, and I haven't had any dropped frames yet. Awesome. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 3500 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in seconds. Shoot. Just wanted to make sure the comments didn't get frozen. That's why I repaused. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Don't work yet. Alright, five seconds back, there's a pack of cars. Thank you, one and all. I still see a good, consistent 40 people watching. Thank you so much. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying it, and stick around because it's definitely not over yet. Alright, let's get build up some nice speed here. Take the turn nice and smooth. God damn it. Whoa! I have not seen that happen here. <laughs> I've been using this track for a bit now. I've never seen that happen hitting the tri oval wall. I have never seen that happen. I don't see a replay of that. Jesus Christ. Look at the front of his car. Talk about a brutal crash. Does that count? <laughs> he went a little higher than Scott Riggs did. At least that first part. He almost went over the catch fence. Probably did go over the catch fence. That was a hard hit for Harry Gant there, too. Kind of went up and slapped the wall. Slap. Alright, I don't need to save this replay at all. I just want to... Because it'll be ingrained in the stream for the record books. That second hit where he came down was almost harder. Like right into the wall with the roof right there. Keep it under 50. Keep it yeah, under restart the session. In second. Yeah, talk about a hard hit. Wait until seven to crack a beer. Look down, it's a seven oh one. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. No work yet. I like the resolution of these cars, they're nice and crisp. The paint schemes whoever made these cars did a good job. 
the 93 series for the Cup 90 mod. Oh, I took that turn too wide. Oh, get it saved. Get it saved. Get it saved. Nope. And he's gonna get hit by Kyle Petty. Nope, Kyle Petty's just gonna drill those other cars. There we go. Here's a big one. Here's a big one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry, Jeff. You all right? Is he gonna get hit any more times? <laughs> you all right? After he's got drilled a million times over at like 200 miles an hour. <laughs> you all right? All right, let's see that. I tried to save it. I couldn't quite save it. I got into them. Got airborne. They kept spinning. I kept spinning. Who all got collected right there? Did everyone make it through after Petty hit, uh... What's his face? So that happened, and then I think all, the, all those cars actually made it through. But then I got hit there. Those guys got hit. They piled in. Oh, Labonte and Earnhardt made it through. Look at Bonnet's car, Jesus. All right. Back to the reenactments. Or should I just post that and have that with the race audio in the background? Just post that as a reenactment. <laughs> you all right? Already my wheel starting the motor starting to make weird noises when I have it at a certain angle. Hope I didn't get a defective one or break it. But even if I did, I got the warranty. I got the extra warranty. Basically, and even if you fuck it up yourself, you'll fix it. But I didn't do anything wrong, I've just been racing with it. How really are you doing? Come on, come on. That was interesting. Oh, there goes Bobby Labonte. He's gonna, like, land on me. Nope. When I watched Michael McDowell's stream, yeah, uh, if you were watching the stream live, the Michael McDowell one, and had issues, if you want to watch the rest of it, skip, like, go back and watch and skip, like, past 20 minutes or so. When I got the settings fixed, I didn't have any more issues with it, uh, skipping or the internet cutting out. Because so I know a few people left after that started happening. Labani had a wild ride there. I want to see the replay of that through his view. Or through this view. Whoa! <laughs> that was perfectly timed. Oh god, my back is killing me. That 52 guy got double whammied.
Keep it under 50. Keep it under 3,500 in second. Watch that speed now. Keep All right. it on. We got some cars five seconds back and seven seconds back. Okay, you're clear of I think we'll actually be caught up to these guys right here. I will. This one. If I don't screw up the turns or my entrance into the trial bowl, I have a good feeling about this one. By the way, I'm going to do NFL picks tomorrow. I'll explain why I didn't do them Thursday before the Thursday night game in a second. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Uh. Brett Bodine would have hit me and sent me over, that would have been pretty good. And damn, that was a hard hit to the inside wall. I was still hitting the brakes and he hit the wall that hard. Or I thought I was hitting the brakes at least. That was like Kyle Bush in the truck series and the Miguel Paluto flip. When he hit the wall like that. Flip the Daytona. That might be hard only because another car got loose and wrecked into him, which is what caused it. Hey, speaking of Ted Musgrave, alright, I can't screw this attempt up. I need the 55 once I get airborne to punt me into the air, into the catch fence. If I can do that, it'll be perfect. God damn it. And of course I screwed it up. God damn it. I'm just gonna wait for that same pack though. Limit 55. Keep it under 3500 in second. Just gonna wait for that same pack just to catch back up around. Keep it on 3500 in second. Alright, they're 13 seconds back. Six seconds back. Five seconds back. Oh my crap, that's a big pack. Actually, it's not that big, it's only like seven or eight cars. If I can get Ted Musgrave to be the one to punt me into the catch fence. Or even if just he's involved in any way whatsoever, that'll add to the reenactment for much more. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Blake's speed didn't get as side and I stopped a little quicker, that would have been better. Where is Ted Musgrave? He's the 55. So is he involved at all? Yeah, alright, he did get he did send me sideways, but damn it, Lake Speed. Why did you have to Lake Speed? That was close. 
but no cigar. God damn it. Restart the session. I'll keep this one going for an hour and a half. Shortly before we get to the hour and a half mark, I'll quit out of the reenactment so I can do some sort of finale like I usually do. And because I want more time to try to get this. Right, five seconds back, there's some cars coming out. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. No word yet. Ted Musgrave also. He's in the pack also. Let's see if I can get the number 55 to hit me again. Alright, he's right there in the bottom line. Or he's in the middle line. He's that white car in the middle in my mirror. So I'm going to try to have Jeff Bodine spin me out. I'm going to have Ted Musgrave and that white car hopefully hit me in one way or another. Come on, come on. Talk about an interesting crash, but nope. Nope. I flipped over, did a blow over, kind of, and Ted Musgrave was involved, but that wasn't good. That was still a really weird crash. I almost used like the 7 as a ramp when we both got into the wall. I bounced there and like ramped up off the seven and did a backflip and finished the barrel roll when I landed on my roof. Getting close. Still need to have some sort of counter that counts all these attempts. Keep it under fifty five. Keep it under thirty five hundred in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on thirty five hundred. Oh, damn it. I saw that come in. Oh, my back. I need a new chair. Oh. Talk about a pit road fail. I haven't had enough to drink. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in seconds. God damn it, Rusty. You've exploded a tire. <laughs> I got Ernie a second time. Probably didn't appreciate that too much. Keep it under thirty five hundred in seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on thirty five hundred in seconds. for those cars seven seconds back. Thank you one and all for joining the stream. I know I keep saying that, but people are filtering in and out, so I need to repeat the messages for the new people that haven't heard my thanks yet. Thank you for joining. If you're uh, enjoying the dream. <laughs> the dream the stream so far please hit the like button if you are I really really appreciate it thank you guys so much for all the support these videos of mine have been more popular than ever it's all thanks to you guys that's why I keep doing them thank you so much oh nope nope oh my god my back 
Raiden Harris, how's it going? All right? Shout out. Kevin LePage was trying to do. His attempt didn't work out so well. Alright, no Ted Musgrave around, so I'm just gonna spin off these guys anyway. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, darn it. He didn't hit, really hit the catch fence. And that definitely didn't happen in the wreck. Whoa. Dave Marcus having the ride of his life. You all right? Thanks. Kind of thanks to Mark Martin. Or was that thanks to me? Thanks to me and Mark Martin. I was getting pretty close though. Right at this point I thought those this was looking pretty good right there. But I didn't hit the catch fence the right way. Oh, this chair is getting really uncomfortable. Hold on a sec, I just need to stretch out for a second, you guys. My super old office chair broke a couple months ago and I haven't gotten a new one yet so I'm just using a crappy kitchen chair with a bunch of pillows on it.
Next. Dale Earnhardt, Rick Mast, Michael Waltrip, Jeff Bodine. A pack of cars, all of which whom have rolled over at one point or another in their careers. Pretty sure Bobby Hillen Jr. did too at one point. Alright, looks like Michael Waltrip might be helping me out this time. Or Bobby Hillen Jr. Whoever that is. Nope, it's Jeff Bodine. I don't know the 90s. I don't know this year that well with all the cars. Come on, come on. Oh, god darn it. And that baby blue car is upside down. You all right? Whoever that was. 90. That's Bobby Hillen Jr. Hard hit for him. Alright, restart the session. Gonna be streaming for another five minutes or so, you guys. For the finale, I'll just do something simple. I'll do a race in this track and try to cause the biggest one possible, the biggest wreck, obviously. I'll, I'm just gonna go backwards this time because I don't think I have the settings adjusted to cause a good uh, going the regular way wreck since I have. I think the pace speed and everything is, not the pace speed, the drafting distance and the bunching distance, I think that's all regular. And the panic decel is all regular, so I don't think there's going to be too big of a wreck if I try going the normal way this one. Alright, I need to be in the inside line. Come on. Oh, oh, damn it. If I didn't go back upside down, that would have been maybe good. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Oh, that would have maybe been good if I didn't go back upside down when I hit the fence. Oh, that would have been perfect if I didn't go upside down again. If I just hit the fence and went to the infield. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, well, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Oh, god, if he just landed on his wheels and went back to the infield and stayed in the grass, that would have been perfect. Well, not perfect, but damn near close. Without wrecking them. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. No work yet. Just rusty. Nope, you can go past. Uh, we'll catch up to these guys. Clear Six outside. seconds back. Five, four and a half, four, three. See if I can accidentally recreate Mark Martin's infield wreck. The 94 one. Close enough of a car set. Right, here we go. It's gonna be the blue 
little car. Come on. Nope. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Don't merge yet. Two hard hits for Bonnet. Oopsies. After this, and then I'll cause a big one by flying the wrong way. And then I will end the stream. Thank you guys for being here, and I may or may not do some eye racing later tonight. Thank you so much for all your support. Please hit the like button if you haven't yet. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, all you guys, all you subscribers, new and old, for your continued support. If there happens to be any new people watching the stream that aren't yet subscribers, if you're enjoying it, please hit the subscribe button. Helps me out, and you guys get notifications for when I'll be streaming in the future. Oh, close. But still no cigar. Oh, Jesus. Bill Elliott absolutely demolished by Bobby Hill and Jr. And by those cars. You alright? <laughs> you alright? Yeah, I may do some eye racing. Don't uh, don't bail out on me this time, JJ Jennings, A.K.A. Voting Globe. You said you were gonna be in that race, and then you weren't. You were in the practice session. I want to race with some of my viewers. So this will be the last run, and then I will do a, try to cause the big one, try to cause the elusive 43 car wreck. Was that for a blocking job? Michael Waltrip isn't too happy, so he's going to spin me out. Oh, that sucked. That sucked. That was a hard hit. One friend to another. Best friends forever. Boom. Alright, that can't be the last attempt. I'm, I'll do one more. Then I'll cause the big one. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. Keep it under 55. Keep it under 35 in seconds. Watch that speed now. Alright, nine Keep seconds back. There's some cars coming. Seconds. I think there's a wreck in that pack. I'll try to block these guys and also have those. Actually, no, I'll just, I'll just use these guys to try to spin out. Like Skinner crash at Charlotte. That would be hard to stay on the side for a while. But I can try. I won't know until I try. Oops. Oops. We're good. Alright, so... Oh 
you guys but that is one of the biggest accidental wrecks I think I've caused in a long long time that won't be the final attempt either the stream's gonna keep going I guess did you see what happened to some of those other cars and the way I started flipping yeah look at number nine all right this one needs to be saved Yeah. I basically got sandwiched into the wall. I definitely need to save this one. Holy crap a and cheese. Alright, so save this whole thing. 90s. Huge one. Alright, one more attempt, guys, and then I gotta cause the wreck and then I gotta go. I need to get have a chance. Keep it under thirty five hundred in seconds. Alright, I see Ted Musgrave nine seconds back. Eight seconds. Alright, that's a good sign. It was meant to be. He's right back there. This is meant to be to try once more. This is perfect. He's right behind me, and I'm on the last attempt. We are up to speed with other cars around us, going into the trial wheel. Nope. Nope. God damn it. And am I going to get hit by these guys? Let's see. I think I might get hit right here. Let's see. Oh, I got clipped. Alright. Unfortunately, I can't procrastinate any longer. I just gotta do this, cause a major wreck, and then I gotta get going. We will have a part two for this one, guys. Rest assured. Every wreck that I, I don't get the first time, there's a part two. And there's plenty of part twos coming up. I'm just trying to do some new ones I haven't tried yet before I start repeating ones. Although I should to start repeating ones so I can get them done and out of the way. And get more reenactments pumped out. Forty-two cars. Let's see if I can opponents. That is. Let's see if I can get a forty-three car wreck. I'm gonna do it coming in the trial bowl, like I usually do, from flying out of pit road and broadside the pack. Kind of like, kind of like big one bowling. I'm basically, gonna try to drill Kyle Petty into Irvin. see where they are, get it timed right. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Yeah, good luck stopping me before I do what I'm gonna do. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500 in seconds. There we go. 
Oh. Not quite all 43, but damn near close. I got petty, though. That's all that matters. Oh, the game almost lagged out there for a second. Mark Martin took a ride. Who else went upside down there? The 8 wasn't quite upside down. The 11 and 24 went airborne. Let's see the ride the 42 took. Mr. Incredible himself. Oh, the 27 went over right at the end. Is that Hut Strickland? It is. Alright, awesome guys. Thank you so much for uh, joining the stream tonight. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. I appreciate all the support. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much again. Until next time, I will see you later. Have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye.